turned to frightened little kids found locked inside a garage. And the woman who put them inside the garage claimed she thought it would be safe, but their mother and Shelby Township police strongly disagree. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us how it all started in a story you're going to see only here on 7 tonight. Regina Giddings says she's had difficulties with affordable housing, so when an old family friend says she could stay here for $900 a month with her kids, she thought it'd be a safe place to call home. I had no money and nowhere to go, and she said, well, I'm not using this house, so you go ahead and go stay in it. What if I break up with my boyfriend and I move back in, I get my room back, but you're still welcome to stay. And so you thought, this is perfect. Perfect. But then about a month after moving in, Regina Giddings says her roommate got mad and locked her four-year-old son and nine-year-old daughter in the garage and left. I didn't expect her to treat two children like that because she was angry over an accident from a four-year-old. Regina says her roommate was upset because she found her son in her room and yelled at him. The little boy got scared and pottied on himself, and it got on her roommate's bed. Around the same time, Regina was supposed to be back by five, but was running a few minutes late. The roommate, a 29-year-old woman, didn't want to be charged for picking up her own son late from daycare and sent Regina this text that reads, I'm putting your kids in my garage now. What did you think when she said that? I freaked out and called the cops. Shelby Township police were quick to arrive and found the kids in the garage. One officer wrote that the children were exposed to potentially harmful items and that the garage was stuffy with no air movement and both children were scared. It was just really hard seeing my kids like that. My daughter was bawling her eyes out. My son was naked. Police later questioned the roommate who admitted she locked the kids in the garage and said she felt it was the safest place to leave them. She has no remorse. She says it's fine. There's nothing wrong with what she did. But I mean, even in a text message, she said, your kids are safe in my garage. Shelby Township Police say they have forwarded their case to prosecutors for possible charges. In Shelby Township, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Kim.